collection of Touch Mine Angel Arts and Crafts. You'll be painting with Angel today, the owner of Arts and Crafts. Um, we are going to be painting American Queen. I think that's what I call her. American Queen, don't quote me. But that's her name. Uh, <laughs> so, what we're going to start by doing is taking our graphite paper. This picture is used for personal use only. So we're going to take one of our graphite papers, take another graphite paper, or you can buy actually 16 by 20 paper, um, I believe from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, I believe this is 11 by 14 paper and I just bought it from Amazon. So I'm just taking it and I'm putting it on all four sides. So I'm going to put that away. You want to make sure you have a water basin, a flat brush, a round brush, and I'm going to be showing you the different brushes throughout the time that we'll be, we'll be painting. I'm going to move this up a little bit. It's up to your discretion how far down oops, how far down you want your girl to be. I want her up kind of high, about right there. I'm not going to taper yet because your paper is going to come in four pieces or your, your downloadable um, will be in four pieces. So you will have to put her together. So I just want to make sure that I put her together the right way. So I am matching her up with the lines, trying to be careful. And this is the whole reason for not taping this because we want to see if we can get it right on. So then I'm just kind of touching the bottom to see where her shirt ends to make sure that I have enough room. Pick that up. You can take your graphite paper down as well. So you will also be needing some tape. Okay, I'm using my tape off. So I'm gonna hold this down and take this. I'm just gonna tape it to the table. I'm going to grab another piece of tape. And I'm taping it where I'm not tracing. Because that's the plan is to trace this. So I'm matching her nose up, her lips, all of the lines. I'm matching them up. Tape right there. And if, if you do tape or you do have to trace, you just want to press harder during the time that you're tracing. The paper moved around a little bit. And I got nails on them, so it makes it a little harder. My hands are kind of shaky, but that's okay though. We, we gonna get through this. Another piece of tape. I just have my tape here on the table. Just tape to the table so I can just kind of grab easily. Again, I'm gonna touch the bottom to make sure it's all the way down there. I'm gonna put another piece of tape right here. Grab another piece of tape. Tape 
right there. There's another piece of tape. you will have to cut because there's like a blank space so you want to cut that off usually it's in the, the inner and the bottom Tape the bottom and top if you like. I'm not going to. Another tool that you'll need is a nail, it's a nail tool to make dots, but I actually use it to trace sometimes. And I do use it for nails because I do do my own nails as well. But I'm using, I believe this is the biggest one I have, the biggest dot. And then I'm going to just trace every single line. And in order to see what you trace, because it's not like a pen where you can actually visibly see it on a piece of paper, but you can feel it. Um, so I'm going to start, and I'll just be all over the place when I'm tracing. So I might start at the eyebrow and then move down to the lips. So I'm going to trace this whole picture. And then I'm gonna be back. All right, guys. So she is fully traced. What I did notice is I missed the part of her um, eye, and I missed the middle part of her lips. But that's okay. I'll go ahead and freehand paint it in. I'm not gonna draw it in. But she is all traced. So the next steps would be to paint her. And the colors that I'm using today is raw sienna. We have light cinnamon, true red, black, and white. This is what our palette is looking like. And guys, I am painting on a silicone palette, so all I have to do is just rinse it off or let it dry and just peel it off. It's the best thing that I could have ever made for myself. Um, other than that, you can just use a paint palette. Make sure that you have a water basin. Uh, make sure that you have a flat brush and a round brush. And also make sure that you have a liner brush. I have two liner brushes. Could be smaller, but this is what I'm what I'm working with. Oh. Here is. Why can't I get this right? <laughs> There's another one. There we go. So you can even. Here we go. I found it. Here it is. All right. So I have all those brushes and I am using a fresh water rinse wheel. Uh, and it's pretty freaking awesome, you guys, let me tell you. So you wanna make sure that you keep your brushes in your water basin or at least have your brush rinse off. You don't want to leave paint on your brush and put it down on the table. If you do what I do, is take my brush and um, get a cup and pour some alcohol in it and rinse my brush off. And that usually takes the paint off. And then I'll go, it go back to normal and dip it in some water. Um, so I'm gonna put, make sure that you have a napkin as well. 
I'm gonna put my brush into the water basin. Make sure that you have a strong duty napkin or paper towel or I don't know, whatever it is that you're gonna use at home or for your paint party. Um, just a second. Okay, so what I'm gonna start off doing is painting my background. I'm going to paint the background. All black. So this is what you're going to do for the whole background. And Okay, so we're going to do my camera cut off. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to paint this whole background black, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys. So she is painted in black. Um, I do want to show you guys some areas that needs to be black. Make sure that you paint it black. So I'm going to take my round brush, dip it in some black. Her neck connects with the background. So I'm going to paint it to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So we got all of the black areas painted. The goal is to make sure that you don't have any white spots visible on your canvas. So you wanna make sure that you paint all black. Um, you can always go back and do a second coat, totally up to you. So the second step is going to be to get the black in her 
face or paint the black that's within her face. You guys want to really take your time, sit back, look at the actual picture of the painting versus your canvas to make sure that you color it in the white area, in the right areas. I always sit back and look before I move to the next step to say, okay, is what's the next thing that I should be painting? Is this is this right? Am I painting in the right area? I mean, you it's painting and it's acrylic. So when you paint, all you have to do is let it dry and you can repaint over it. But I always like to avoid that and just take a, a step back and look at my picture to actually see what it is that I need to fill in. So guys, just take your time. Painting's not going nowhere. And enjoy and relax to free your mind. So again, we're gonna start painting the inner part of her face, such as her eyes, her eyebrows, up under her nose, um, and some lining to her lips. So I'm gonna start off by painting under her nose, and I'm still, I'm using my round brush. I did dip it to clean it off. I'm gonna dip it again, just because the bristles are separating at the end, and I like it to have a, a pointy tip. So, I'm just going to go and you don't need that much paint on your brush not a lot of paint because you don't want to see like streaks in your painting or blobs of paint in one area you kind of want to make sure you smooth it out so this is the lining of the under part of her nose and again I'm just taking my time painting it in And then I got a small lining. Need to so kind of so I want it to be a big blob. Right here on the nose. So we did her eyebrows. Again, you can do a second coat on the eyebrows if you like. I'm just gonna fill in her eyebrow, leaving the little circles open to be white spaces so that we can go back and actually fill them in with white paint. So this is the eyebrow, or this is the um, eye that's missing the other part, so. I'm going to do as best as I can to fill this in.
right, so now I'm gonna start to fill in features in her eye. So I'm taking my time and I'm looking and I'm getting all the way around. little lash at the end it's pretty dark and again guys it doesn't have to be right on your picture doesn't have to look exactly like mine I'm gonna fill in her bottom lash I'm just lightly holding on to the brush lightly painting So take a look back at your picture. To see what it is you need to fill in next. So I'm gonna go to the other side of her other eye. Lightly fill that in. I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the other eye over here. Load my brush up back with some black. Her bottom. Okay. Her lashes. Top lashes. And there we go. She got some really long spider little eyelash or little um yeah lashes, but she cute. Her still cute. Okay, so we're going to line her lips. And most of this lining we need may need to go over later. This is just giving you a, a guide of where not to cross over with your painting. Because we're gonna fill her face in with brown. That was too much paint. So this is the part where I did forget her bottom lip. Well, mine's may look different from yours, but that's okay. Or you might have did what I did and forgot to fill it in. I'm just gonna put some more light the little lines that are here. The whole goal is to take your time, relax as much as possible. Don't stress yourself out. It's just a painting. So we're gonna go to the top of her head and start. Actually, I'm gonna go to the bottom of her her sweater, can you see on camera? Let me get this book out of her so the camera is here. Okay. So there's a line down here. I'm gonna fill it in. So I'm following the picture and I'm just putting the black lines where they should go. Just so I can have a guide. 
of what not to go over. So normally if you purchase um, one of our kits, the lines are already embedded into the canvas. So for the purpose of the video is to show you how to trace, um, also to provide you with the outline so that you can trace it on yourself using um, carbon paper. You might see me freeze for a bit and that's just me taking a look back to see what else is, what else is it that I need to fill in with black. So I don't want to have to make a mistake and then come back to fix it. So we have this line that I missed that goes up. This line here, this also will, by watching me will help you guys with your paintings. These lines are pretty thick. It's up to you if you want to make them thick or if you want to make them thin. I'm going to fill this line in. Okay. And I got another line here. It looks like that is it for our jacket. We do have some outer black lines that we need to fill in, but that will be after we put in our color. Um, we can do a little oval shape around the strings of the hoodie. Take a little look back, see what else before I migrate to the top of her head. So this line right here should be enough. This line right here should be black as well. the earring the rest will fill in later so I'm gonna move up to the top of her head to fill in these lines so this is a pretty thick black line there um, pretty thick line here And I'm still using my round brush. So we have a pretty thick line here. And another line there. Another thick line here. A line here. Let's see, we got another. 
the glue in there. And you guys, I know in the beginning it's like, oh, my picture is ugly. It looks like crap. But you haven't even finished yet. So you got to give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Trust the process. And take your time, just like I'm doing with each and every line. In my hand, it's, it's not stable at all. <laughs> but don't worry about that. It's usually pretty, it's easier to just do one long line, one shot. Instead of going here, here, and then here. But that, if that's what you have to do, do that. I usually like just a one straight line. Just like that. So we got a pretty thick line going through our store. Let's see. Some of the black created out there, so I'll just load my brush up with some black. I'll go over it again. So I don't want no no uh, white spots. So we got a pretty thick line over here. This line actually extends. There we go. All right, so let's take a look back. So we do have a line going up. We have our line. Here, oh, super shaky there. I was trying to straighten it out as best as I can. I'm not gonna worry about it because guess what? I can fill that in with the color that we're gonna use. So I'm just doing this side. I'm gonna rinse my brush off just because I have a lot of black still clumped up, and I like that pointy edge my brush so I'm going to trace this side there we go and we got our star this is so we can extend it out let's see we have another line here Another line here. And I'm going to go back in and fill this line in because it is showing little white spots, which I don't want that. And I'm going to trace an outline of black here. Trace an outline of black here. All the way down. We have a line here. All right. We have a line here, but what I'm going to do is fill this in first and then go back and create that line. So, our ne the next step that I'm going to do is take our blue and fill in the bottom part of her shirt. And I'm going to switch to a flat brush. I'm going to dip my brush in a large amount of blue. You guys are seeing the face now, so you see if I can move it up a little bit. So, I'm going to start painting her bottom half of her jacket blue
be careful not to color my black lines because remember those are our guidelines guidelines I can't talk today so I'm making sure I don't have any white on my canvas you also want to make sure that you paint the edges of your canvas you can do that at the end or you can do that as you go I usually do it as I go so whatever color that I'm painting uh, I use the same color on the sides. So like, for example, I'm painting her bottom half of her jacket, her hoodie blue. So I'm gonna paint the side of this part blue as well. I mean, you can choose to use a different color all the way around. It's totally up to you. And then I'm just loading my brush up with the blue and filling it in. Because a lot of my paint, paint is gloss. It's not matte, it's gloss. I like the gloss look. You can use matte if you want to. Um, or you can use matte and then spray it with um, Rust-Oleum Clear. Which there's an informational video that tells you like where you can get everything at. Um, should be a video before, or a video after this one, I believe. So I'm going to continue in to fill her in with blue. So I'm going to finish her, uh, finish filling her in with blue and I will be right back. Okay. So now I'm just filling in, I'm still filling in the bottom part of her sweater. Um, going really slow just to make sure I'm within the line so I don't have to do too much of tracing over um, with black. I mean, you can do this after, it's totally up to you. I like to do it before. So you can paint all your blue in first and then do your lines after. I just like to have a guide to remind me, hey, I'm here, don't go over me. Whereas an actual kit would already have the lines on it, so I don't have to worry about that. I can actually paint over them and still be able to see the line. So I'm looking very closely at my actual picture to make sure I'm painting in the right areas. It's very important. the small little details. So right here, small, and you can switch to a smaller brush for the smaller areas. If you go over some of your black line, no worries, just don't cover it all the way. That's the purpose of them being there so that we are not to go over them um, completely. And if we did go over them, not completely, if you know what I mean, we can at least still see the line to where we can go back and trace the black line. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so I'm going in between here. Now, we've completed everything. If you have any white spots, in your blue now is the time to go and fill it in because a lot of the blue has dried so you can go and fill it in so that you don't have white spots or if you feel like your paint is not smooth or it kind of looks a little like the opacity looks really dull you can go over it with some more blue or black, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm good with that. I'm good with how it looks now. I'm just checking to see if I filled in everything and I can see I missed a spot, which is right here. Yeah. And over 
here on her shoulder. So now I'm going to move to her eye, but before I do that, you want to mix a little bit of your blue with some white. A shade lighter than the blue that you just painted. It doesn't matter what shade as long as it's lighter than the blue that you painted. I'm going to rinse my brush off because I'm going to use a smaller detail brush for the eye area. So now I'm going in and I'm going to paint her eye. I need to sit down and concentrate for this. I was standing, but. Remember the black is a guide for you. can always repaint our black lines. Get as close as I can. And you definitely need to fill in the eyelashes again. Another thing that you can do too, after you finish, um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> after you finish tracing with the carbon paper, you can trace your lines with the permanent marker. That way, that will allow you to go over. That's another um, trick as well. So now my black doesn't look as defined and that's just because the blue is added and some of my lines are covered with blue, but I still can see my black lining so that I know that's where I need to go back to fill it in. So what I'm doing, I'm just being super careful, filling it in. I'm gonna connect this to the corner of her eye. Here. You can even use a paint pen to fill in her her eye. I wouldn't say use a paint pen to trace the lines. Permanent marker would be better because it doesn't smudge if you let it dry before you start painting over it. All right, so now. I'm moving to the next eye. So 
So there's a part right here where I forgot to trace the black line, but I'm gonna go back and do that, so that's okay. And that does happen sometimes. Don't beat yourself up. We got this little white part here that should be blue. What else should be blue? In between her eyelashes, so. Get some more blue paint. The more detail that you add, the better your picture is gonna look. So don't give up. Don't say, you know what? I'm done with this. I don't wanna do it no more. Don't give up. Believe in yourself and know that you can do it. That's what is my motto. My motto is also to empower you to keep going, which means don't give up. Okay, so let's see what else, what other areas we got over here. Um, this needs to go down a little bit, which I don't have a line there, but that's okay. I'm gonna create it, which you may have to create as well. So there we go. We'll fill some of this in because it dried up and it is some white spots there. Okay, so now we are going to rinse our brush off. And that blue that we created, that really light blue, we are going to use that to fill in her eye. Let's see if I can get it on the camera. This is the blue. And I'm going to fill in her eye. Which I think it could be a little whiter. So I'm adding more white. Filling it in. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna rinse my brush since we're in her eye already. Not in her eye, but we already painted her eye already. So I'm gonna add the little white dots that should be in her eye. That's already there is white, but we want to use our paint so that we can make the white stand out. And on this side, I had to fill it in and she's missing her little white dot here. So there's her dot there, her dot there. So now we filled in her eye. I'm gonna rinse my brush. And I'm gonna go paint that line that I missed right here. And I'm going to go in and paint this line on this right here. Filling the eyelashes again just to get them to pop out. See, when you go over the black again, it gives it more definition, making it darker because it was painted over. I'm going to paint in her eye again without touching the white that I just did. You might want to let that dry if you're not able to paint around it.
her eyelashes here. I'll put them back actually. There's another line that I still want. And now since I'm on the black, I'm gonna refill in my nose while I'm gonna coat. end up filling it in again but that's okay once I start painting her face so we can see who she's becoming she's starting to come through all right so I'm rinsing my brush off and I'm going back to my brown brush round brush and I'm going to start painting her columns of blue so back to the blue I'm going to start over here the blue over here stay in the line it's just like coloring on a coloring book guys don't freak out I know the picture looks hard but it is not as hard as you think it is I created an extra little line over here. Fill that in with blue. Fill this in with blue right here. When her colors come in, guys, she's going to really stand out. I'm excited for this to be the first paint video paint basically paint along with me or you can use this video to paint with the crowd or I don't know you're at home you and your husband or boyfriend are painting or best friend whoever it may be um, you guys can kind of follow along at home there's going to be a ton of videos to follow along. I do also have a Etsy store. Not Etsy, what am I talking about? <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> Y'all, my mind is in a thousand places. Um, I do have an Etsy shop that you can purchase um, commercial outlines from. So if you're having a party and you just kind of want to have a picture for them to paint and you just want the outline and not the actual kit you're able to purchase the download from Etsy it's fairly new I'm still building up the Etsy shop with pictures but there there are some on there and I'll be adding more so I just hope that you guys have fun with the follow along, the follow along painting. I'm going to start going live on um, YouTube as well doing some of these paintings. I don't know if I'll have a calendar or a see because I like just kind of randomly jumping on because I don't want it to say, oh, you know what, I have to cancel today because something came up. I kind of just like to be able to just ram randomly. Thank you. 
So we can let this dry, we can go over it again, with another coat of blue. See a little transparency, not a lot. Remember for your smaller areas to use a smaller brush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go over the top part here. With the blue. So I'm going to continue filling this in and then come back. Okay, so we filtered our blue on the top, so I'm going to just go back in and add these black lines again to make them stand out. And they also dried up with a little bit of white on them, so... Oh, see, I missed the blue spot. So I'm going to fill that in right here. See some little white spots up here. Then I'll fill them in. All right, so I'm gonna go back over the blue area because it's somewhat, actually it's all the way dry. I'm gonna go back around it with more blue. I'll be back. All right, so we're all done with the blue. The next step will be to fill in with red. Here by Groovy down the last And I don't know why Alexa just turned on just out of nowhere. Alexa, turn off. So I'm just going to fill in these areas with red. So we're going to fill in. There's a blue spot that I missed. We're going to fill in this whole side with red, and then I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so, so far we have completed one side of her little scarf, and we're going to complete the other side, and then we also need to complete this part of her sweater and also this part of her sweater. We are going to blend a little bit of blue at the ends of the widest um, strings on her hoodie. So I'm just going to start blending in, well not blending in, I'm going to start filling in the other side. of her head wrap.
so now we're going to start filling in the top half of her hoodie. I'm still using my smaller brush to fill this in. If your paint's not flowing as good as you want it to, you can always add a little bit of water to it. Um, another trick is to add a little bit of water to your paintbrush when you're doing your, your uh, lining, when you're outlining the black. Add a little bit of water um, and that'll make your paintbrush glide better across the canvas while doing your outlines. So you do exactly what I'm doing here is filling in all of the red spots. in mid bottom and I'm going to start adding some blue from the bottom so I'm going to rinse my brush and I grab some blue and fill this in Rinse my brush, grab some red, and rinse my brush again. my brush again I'm just going to use my hand my finger to blend in a little bit Just like so. And I'm gonna finish filling in the rest of the red. So I left a little gap in between so that I can fill in um, the black lining. I see a few white spots, so I'm just kind of touching it up. I'm 
I'm gonna fill in this part with her string as well. So now we're going to add some liner. So I'm just rinsing my brush off, keeping it a little wet so I can add more liner to my brush. So I'm going back to my flat brush, and now we are going to paint the face with our brown color. And it may take a few coats for this. Get it as close to a clear. You want to make sure you're not using a lot of paint to where there are a lot of streaks. So I'm just trying to be super careful. Right now I'm just smoothing out the paint. between the lashes. Right now I'm just coloring over the bottom lashes and I, I can always fill this back in. Dipping my brush back in some more brown.
Okay, so we're gonna let that coat dry. And we are going to do her lips. And that is with using our dark cinnamon. Okay, we'll go back to our face. So the top part of our face is looking pretty smooth. So we are just trying to even out her skin tone. And as you can see, I'm overlaying pretty quickly so it doesn't dry. So I want this to be all one smooth out there. stopped so I'm gonna explain the steps that I did so I finished painting her the red part I went over the black lines again I went around the edges with black just to make it more defined I went over her eye again I also added the black outline to her eye I put the white dots back in Relined her eye again, re put black in, did the brown in her lips, and outlined her lips, and also added the white earring right here, <clears throat> and redid the lines, and also put in white for the stars, and outlined the stars with black. And I touched up the spots that had white spots. And then to finish it off, I used the Rust-Oleum Clear two times. You can get this from Walmart um, or Home Depot um, or whatever store in your area sells spray paint. I usually do this to all my paintings. So if you feel like some of your colors are uneven, this will also even it out too and it'll give it a little shine. So this is her after the fact. And I hope you guys liked painting with me today. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell so that you can see all of my future paintings. Because there will be a bunch more. So this will be a page where we can kind of paint together as we go. Learn as you go. If you're a beginner, never painted before, this is beginner friendly. Um, and that 
is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you can always send me messages by email um, or you can send me messages on Instagram, um, however you like um, to send me messages. But again, thank you for painting with Angel with Touched by Angel Arts and Crafts. And I hope you guys have a good day.